Hello everyone. Well, we are now entering into the second month of 2020 and I said, you know what? This year I want to get some new answers. So I thought I would go to someone that could answer some questions for me. So today I'm sitting here with the wonderful, the amazing psychic, Rebecca. How are you today? I'm wonderful. I'm, I'm very honored to be here. Well, thank and, you. And uh, I'm excited about your reading. You are a, a bright mind. Thank Let's you. put it that way. Thank you. Well, let's thank jump you. into it. I don't say this very often. You have what I call a bit of a genius mind, and I, I really mean that. Uh -huh. The way you think. A genius? Okay, fun fact about this is that I used to be in the gifted program when I was in elementary school, but when I took the test, I actually wasn't gifted academically, but I was gifted creatively. So, I mean, it worked out in my favor. The way your ideas are, the way you operate is 100% amazing. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. And I talk about auras a lot. Mm -hmm. You have a very, very yellow aura mm. with three big green balls. Now the balls indicate money. Maybe a couple months before I uh, got the call from Ellen, I went to a psychic before, and she also told me that I had a golden aura about me. Now about them little green balls, I don't know about that, but let's keep going. And this is your year for making money also. Oh hey, man. Yeah, so there is an opportunity that will unfold by May of 2020. Okay. You have a ton of opportunities also globally. So it's not just international, it's global. Mm. If you choose to do that, you'll be popular in co on countries like maybe Hong Kong, also maybe Germany, Mumbai, okay? okay. You have a huge, huge connection to Switzerland. Really? I, I'm curious, have you ever thought about writing a book? Yes, Yeah. very much so. Yep, learn your content be comfortable with, get the right people to promote you, and it's a smash hit. Look, I have thought about writing a book. I have thought about writing a book because I've been thinking about making a cookbook. Wouldn't that be cute? I probably wouldn't even be like, y'all need to start seasoning y'all food or something like that, you know? <laughs> we love a New York Times bestseller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We speaking that into existence. Mm -hmm. Then um, also you have, I think it's Atlanta. Mm. Yeah, but that's more music business, and that will come down a little bit later, but that might intertwine into your media or your entertainment world. When you marry, you will marry. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And this is by your choice also. There are three children wanting to come to you. What you mean wanting to come to me? Hey, listen, y'all. I do want kids. I'm fine with that. But I'm like, girl, I'm 24, and you already talking about marriage? I can't even date successfully. How am I going to have a man? Child, please, okay. They're like, daddy, daddy, daddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be right now. Mm -hmm. But if you're open to that, mm -hmm. even within the next 10 years, mm -hmm. yeah, there's children. So you will most likely meet somebody that would also want to have kids too. Okay, okay. Now, mm. could them children possibly be pets? That like, they just speak in dog, but it actually mean daddy? You mean fur babies? Mm -hmm. No. No, these is humans. Yeah. Oh, okay. There is the connection to New York, I saw that. You have a big connection to um, Brooklyn area. Mm -hmm. And you will still... <laughs> okay. Yeah, you still have that connection. Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> and is there anything specific that... Yeah, if Brooklyn brings you love. Oh. It brings you luck. Mm. But it's a lot about love. Okay. Yeah, so you may have ha had a connection there through relationship mm -hmm. and you may still have that and it's very pink pink okay. is for love okay. so i'm curious is that can you validate that did you have a situation the, the, yeah there was there was a situation that had to do with someone that lives in brooklyn that still lives in brooklyn yeah. but with the distance of being here in la and them in brooklyn mm -hmm. things get a little complicated yeah you know it's complicated but don't let distance keep you from a relationship so what about on a more personal basis like with me socially with mm -hmm. friends and stuff like that oh uh, can we talk about how muscular i look oh come on body okay keep going <laughs> um two years ago you might have let a couple people go mm -hmm. um and that was a good thing Mm, okay. You have a um, new social circle mm. coming into 2020, which is now. Mm -hmm. New people, but they're trustworthy. Mm. And they're not people that want to know you because of who you are, want to know you because you might have money or this or that. It's somebody that you connect with really emotionally mm. that has a purpose in your life. Huh. But that'll be interesting also. Remember I said global? Right. You have a global presence. 
I see a lot of names around you. So this is new people, new friendships. It's like a lot of a new, new life cycle, yeah. but you're, you're ready for this. Wow. And you are divinely guided because you were picked for one reason, because your voice is important. Your ideas are important. You were supposed to reach the masses. I'm honored to meet you, actually. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, you are guided by two powerful men that are no longer here, okay? Um, both had a political voice. Now, I'm not saying you to get involved in politics, okay, but a political voice. Remember, there are people that will want you to do charities and foundations and all that, but you have to be very, very careful where the money really goes. Mm. You see what I mean? Mm. I, I'm just gonna say it, you wanna hear it? Yeah. John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King. What? Woo! Those are some powerful beings right there. I thought she was gonna say like two people that I knew in my life or something, you know? She said them names. I said, oh girl, you about to take me out. Them some powerful names, girl. Don't be speaking all that. Well, no, do speak that girl, cause they legends. Let me tell you, Martin Luther King has appeared to me. Oh. He doesn't come just to come. And as much as this sounds outlandish, I say what I see. Oh. So be inspired by the greats. Amen. Mm-hmm. I I take that. I and accept that. Well, everybody, there it is. You know what? Thank you so much oh for being God. here. I love the reading. I am really shook right now at how accurate everything was. And you know what? Right now, I'm about to leave because I got to walk into these three big balls that are green, okay? Yes. Period. <laughs> <laughs>